Spring Hill is one of the fastest growing towns in Tennessee and even in the nation. And it's just one of the most peaceful, safe places to live here in Tennessee. I'm particularly biased because I actually live here. So I'm out in front of my own home here in Spring Hill. And before we jump into the tour, I'm gonna to take you around the city. I just wanna talk about some of the pros and cons of living here now that I've been here for a few years. So I've talked about some of the pros already. Really safe place to live. And there's so many places to shop and dine that are within a small area. So it makes it a really convenient place to live. I'm really not far from many particular grocery stores that I actually love, lots of nice restaurants. Additionally, um, it's just, incredibly safe. It's a wonderful place to, you know, you see kids running around the neighborhood here. My own children love to run around this neighborhood and play with the kids across the street. And you just get that wonderful neighborhood vibe here in the city. And it's really not that far from Nashville. So it's one of my personal favorite Nashville suburbs, but I am biased. Some of the cons of living here is honestly, when it comes down to it, it's just getting really crowded here. It's been growing so fast and the infrastructure hasn't kept up. Uh, I'm gonna show you here a little bit later in the video when we get to Main Street, also known as 31. It's really only one lane in each direction and there's so many places to shop there. It's really the central hub of Spring Hill. Without those extra lanes, and I don't think they can extend it, it just makes it a traffic nightmare here sometimes. Um, additionally, they're just putting in so many like townhome developments here in the city that we're packing a lot of people in a tight area. And that's another one of the cons of living here is honestly, as it grows, it's gonna get even more crowded. The great part is we live really close to I-65, uh, which jets you right up into places like Franklin and uh, or further south in the state. And also of course, straight up into Nashville. So really convenient place to live. And I can't wait to show you the city. All right, so here we are in my most visited spot in Spring Hill, the Kroger Plaza. So this is actually surrounded by a lot of fast food places, a lot of other shopping and dining areas. But of course, Kroger here is the anchor. And so I come here often because it's just a couple minutes from my house and has both of what I need here in the city. And hey, if you're interested at all in what it's like to live here in Spring Hill or move to anywhere in the Nashville area, me and my team help people like yourself every single day move to the area. So if you're wondering what it's like to live, eat, sleep, play, or work here in greater Nashville, we'd be so happy to help you. We hear from people all the time and we absolutely love it. We're, we got your back if you're moving to the area. In addition to the Kroger behind me, uh, like I mentioned, there's a lot of shopping and dining areas. Okay, so we got over here, we have of course, one of the two or three workout facilities in a short distance here in Spring Hill. This, this facility is actually 24 seven. And sorry about the uh, car noise here. Obviously the thing about this Kroger Plaza and you can see so many cars parked here, this place is always busy because it, like I said, it's one of the most convenient places to shop here in Spring Hill. We have two other major shopping hubs in the area that include a Walmart in an area called The Crossings. So teaser for later in the video. What makes this Kroger somewhat unique to many that I've ever been before is it was actually recently renovated. And so they actually added on an entire side. And if you see over here, there's almost no signage on this side of the building. It's because that's a new addition. This Kroger is basically the size of a Walmart and it actually became a running joke that as they were renovating and moving things around, that none of us who are used to shopping here knew where to find anything. But uh, it's a fantastic Kroger, the best one I've actually ever been in because the selection is massive and they had to grow it because Spring Hill has been growing so much. A couple other places that I really love coming here is we actually have right over here, a Zaxby's across the way, an amazing place for chicken and also right directly across the street is a Bojangles, uh, one of my favorite places to get chicken. We don't have a Popeyes here in Spring Hill, or I'd say that place, but Bojangles is definitely a place for fried chicken here in the city. Additionally, we have a ton of fast food restaurants all around this area. So if you see right here behind me, this road behind me is Port Royal. Port Royal, when you're coming off of I-65, the interstate that leads into our city, is the first thoroughfare you come through the city. It's just off of Saturn Parkway down here. And really, so when you're coming to Spring Hill off the major highway, this shopping plaza is the first place that introduces you to the city. Probably one of the reasons I come here so much. Port Royal is actually one of 
three major roads here in the city that basically you're gonna be using most of the time to get anywhere. So we got Port Royal, we have Duplex, and we have Main Street, also known as 31. And that's gonna be where I'm gonna show you a couple other major shopping plazas in the area. My other absolute favorite places to shop and dine here. One is a recent addition, and I'm gonna show you a picture of it on screen, is Witt's Frozen Custard over here. They do the best custard in town. Now, the most popular place is probably a place called Andy's, which I'll show you later, but I'm partial to Witt's. My wife recently had me go get her some in the middle of the day as a special treat because it's just that good. Right over here, I'm gonna show you a picture of it on the screen later, is another separate strip mall past Kroger's gas station, and it has the best place to get a burger and fries probably in the city, although many people would probably say it was the Spot or Culver's. The reason I like it so much is they have the best fries I've ever had. It's a place called Froggy and Jeffro's. When we're, we're gonna move on here in a second, but one more thing I wanna talk about is the neighborhoods in town. I'm gonna to show off two neighborhoods. Now there are so many fantastic subdivisions here in Spring Hill. I'm gonna show off one I'm partial to, which is Candlewood, the one I personally live in. And then after that, we'll go and take a look at a fantastic subdivision called Wade's Grove. So let's head over there. Hold up, before we go visit the Candlewood subdivision, I had to point out one more incredible dining establishment here on Port Royal Road, which is behind me here, Daylight Donuts. Now you wouldn't think normally of a donut place as a dining establishment, but Daylight Donuts actually recently added sushi of all things to their menu, and it's actually become my favorite sushi place in town. So if you're a sushi lover, you can't go wrong at Daylight Donuts. Okay, so here we are at the entrance to the Candlewood subdivision where I personally live here in Spring Hill. This subdivision has really grown. Uh, the housing prices have really skyrocketed. I moved here in December of 2022. We purchased our home here in the neighborhood for $268,000 at that time. And to get into Spring Hill at that price now, you're probably looking at more like a condo or a townhome. And even that's really difficult. So you'll see here on screen, the stats. One of the things you'll, you'll notice when I put them up here is that there are no currently active homes for sale here in the subdivision. We only have some records. We have one under contract and we have quite a few that have sold in the past, but nobody's selling their houses right here in this neighborhood. It's obviously a really desirable neighborhood. And so we range right now anywhere from about 400,000 to $550,000 in this neighborhood. And one of the things that people really love about it is that there's no HOA here. So if you're looking for a place where more of the maintenance and things are taken care of for you, or just to be sure that your neighbors have some requirements for keeping up their property to make sure to protect your home value, Candlewood might not be the subdivision for you here in Spring Hill, but it's certainly one of the most convenient neighborhoods in the area because you'll see behind me here, this road is also Port Royal, like I showed you earlier. When you go past the, uh, the Kroger Plaza, over to this area with these subdivisions. When it curves around here, it goes over to Duplex, one of the other major roads in the town. And Duplex actually also borders this subdivision. Duplex is actually just past my backyard. And so from Candlewood, you can get to just about anywhere in Spring Hill very easily. And that's one of the things that I think people really love. And personally, I love about this subdivision. It's also, even though we have one of the major thoroughfares here, it's really a quiet neighborhood. Again, you'll see kids playing in the street, really nice neighbors. Everybody here is friendly. And it actually connects to some rather really nice subdivisions that are at higher price points. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit further from the main thoroughfare and also some newer builds, those are gonna be some of the subdivisions you might check out if you like this location. Uh, but they are at higher price points and some of them are gonna have HOAs. Anyway, that's the Candlewood subdivision. I absolutely love hip living here. And if you decide to move to Spring Hill, if you can get a house here, I think you'll love it too. All right, so we're here in Wade's Grove here in Spring Hill. And this is a really popular neighborhood. What's interesting about the neighborhood is that with the phases of the builds throughout time, the prices range very wildly. 
So you'll see homes anywhere from the low 500s all the way up to about $900,000 here in this neighborhood. And you can, when you're here and you see some of the quality of the builds, like by builders like John Mayer, you can see why people love it and why they love these homes. The other great thing is that you can live in this wonderful neighborhood with the community here at a range of price points, what suits your budget and your needs. The other fantastic thing about the subdivision is behind me here, if you follow this road, it goes back to Duplex. Again, one of the major roads here in the city. And if you follow around and go to the other main entrance of this subdivision, you're at Buckner, another one of the major roads in the city. So again, this is really well connected into the arteries of the city, easy to get everywhere. But this, this part of the subdivision especially is far enough away from the hustle and bustle of the city that it's really quiet. You just, you don't really hear a whole lot of road noises, just the birds chirping. I personally, this is Yellow Brick Court, I've personally listed a home here in the neighborhood for as high as $800,000. And so learning just how popular this neighborhood has been has kind of made me want to live here. And if you were looking for a great neighborhood to live here in Spring Hill, I can't recommend this one enough. One of the other great things about Wade's Grove that we just looked at is it's really close to two schools. One of them being Chapman's Retreat that I have here behind me. This is actually the elementary school that my daughters go to. Now, a unique thing about Spring Hill is it actually is divided by a county line. So some of Spring Hill is in Williamson County and some is in Murray County. One of the things you're gonna wanna consider when you do move here, if you do move here, is what school zone are you going to be here in here and make sure that you like the schools. Now, Williamson County, part of what Spring Hill is in, is known for being one of the best school districts in the country and the best in Tennessee, arguably. So something to consider when you move here is check out the schools. I can definitely vouch for Chapman's Retreat. Like I said, my daughters go here. Principal Hummel here really cares about the kids. They have IEP programs to make sure each kid is being taught at their level. And so I can't say enough nice things about this particular school and just one of the many reasons that I love living here in Spring Hill. Next, we're gonna go take a look at 31, which is also called Main Street, and one of the two, sorry, two of the major shopping areas uh, that really make up what form has formed new and old downtown Spring Hill. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we just left Chapman's Retreat a little bit ago. Now I am driving down Duplex Road. And Duplex, like I mentioned before, is one of the major roads in the city. It really cuts right through the heart of the city. And it happens to take you straight into the old downtown area and onto Main Street. So let's head there. Here we are in the old downtown area of Spring Hill. And I'm actually in front of one of my favorite places in old downtown. This is the Fainting Goat Coffee. And this place is just really quirky. It's an excellent place to hang out. They've always got funny signs out. I'm partial to Star Wars, and so they'll often have something to do with Star Wars on a banner on the side of their building that relates to their upside down goat, which is their logo, if you can see it here. And it's not just a quirky place. They actually serve a fantastic cup of coffee. And again, probably one of the best places to just sit down and have a relaxing hang with a friend here in Spring Hill. Another establishment I really love is right over here. You can see that it's called Jimmy's Cleaners. It's been here a long time. It's the place I go to get my dry cleaning done. One of the reasons I love that establishment is that they do a service to the community where if you're unemployed, they will actually clean your outfit for free. So I just love the integrity of the owners there and they give a great service. Another place you'll see right over here it's called Ghost Light Books. Now, Ghost Light was started by a theater group as a nonprofit to help them run their business, and they've actually grown. My wife, Kristen, will actually volunteer her time there because she's such a book lover that they give her books back in return. But if you're coming to town, you know, we used to have a Books A Million in town, and unfortunately, they went out of business, left town. And so Ghost Light Books is really probably the best book shop in town. And so you get that small town feel, you get an excellent deal for your uh, for a book here in town and you support 
uh, a local cause. So can't recommend that business enough. Now down in the downtown area here, I have one other awesome place to recommend to you. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're here at one of my favorite restaurants in all of Spring Hill. And this is actually a recent addition. So you're gonna be one of the first people to know this place even exists. It's called Antonucci's. It's a fantastic Italian place that serves the best lasagna I have had in my entire life. Um, and these people are gonna make me broke. I love their lasagna so much. So Bob is the owner and this is authentic Italian cooking. So I had to show this place off. In fact, I really want a lasagna. So let's see if Bob's inside and I'm gonna go order one. All right, there's the man. Hey, Bob, hey, good, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank yeah. you, glad to be in Spring Hill. Yeah, so Bob here, like I said, runs Antonucci's and he makes the best lasagna. So I'll be right back, I'm gonna order one. All right, so just left Antonucci's, got my lasagna, very satisfied. And now we're gonna drive down Main Street into the main area of Spring Hill. So Spring Hill on Main Street has really two major shopping hubs. We're gonna head to the Walmart area, and then after that, we're gonna head into really the primary shopping area in Spring Hill called the Crossings. But first, uh, let's take a look as we drive into the new downtown. Okay, so now we're in one of the major hub areas of downtown Spring Hill, the new downtown. And this strip ball behind me is pretty important to me and my family because right over here, we have Red Tiger Martial Arts, which is where my entire family is now doing Taekwondo together as a family. We absolutely love it here. Master Lee and his wife, Bethany, take great care of the community here. So we checked out multiple martial arts facilities for our children to go to. And what we loved about this one and what I personally love having a martial arts background is how good they are at instructing, keeping the kids in order, teaching them discipline and focus of their minds. So we just love it here. We have a great time as a family. And then right also over here is Willens, highly regarded here in Spring Hill as the best place to get Chinese food in the city. So you don't wanna miss this little strip mall when you come here. Okay, so now here we are in basically the central hub of Spring Hill. We got Walmart behind me and really all surrounding this Walmart is the majority of things you would need just live here in Spring Hill. There's so many different shopping facilities. Spring Hill has really grown in the last couple decades. Of course, this Walmart used to not be here. And this particular street that all of this is on, I've mentioned it several times in this video, this is 31, this is Main Street. The problem with Main Street is we have so many desirable things to do and this really does cut through the city to other cities. So you take it south, you're gonna be in Columbia. You take it north, you're gonna be in Franklin. And so it's a road that everybody basically needs to go on. Being one lane in each direction and as much as Spring Hill has grown, the traffic here and getting around here can be pretty frustrating. You can get some pretty long backups at the lights. It's not horrible yet, but at certain times of day, it can be pretty annoying. Now, as far as the great things about this little area, right over here, Andy's frozen custard. I mentioned this earlier in the video as well. Fantastic, delicious. The only problem I have with Andy's is they're just a little bit pricey. So if you want to get the you know some of the best ice cream in town, it's definitely a fantastic option. But just uh, make sure your wallet's ready. Also, we have over here. There's a whole other plaza over here past Walmart that actually has a Publix, which has what I believe to be the best bakery and deli in any grocery store around. So another fantastic shopping option in the area. We also have over in this area, and you can kind of see it on camera, a place called Cali Burrito, really popular place to get some Mexican food, and honestly, probably the best burritos in town. Okay, now what we have over on this side, and you won't be able to see them on camera here, but if you've ever heard of Culver's, we do have a Culver's over here, which I think has probably the second best burger in town. It's, it's a strong running. We have some great burger places. I really love it. And as far as fast food value for your money, Culver's is one of your best bets to get a great burger here in town. And then when you see across the street here, we have a strip mall. We have several strip malls on Wall Street that runs parallel to 31 here that have some great places. 
fact, this one right across the street has a crumble cookie. And if you've ever had one of their cookies, they are absolutely delicious, make a great gift item. So if you're thinking about gifts for whoever, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hint, hint to my wife if she watches this video. Great place to get them. We also have a place right across the street here called Highway 55, which is an old timey 50 style diner. So oftentimes my family will go there as a celebration. After we go to Red Tiger, they earn their belt. We like to go over to Highway 55 as your tradition. So if you like that old 50 style diner, it's a great dining option here in the city. And this again is just the central hub of everything going on here in the new downtown area of Spring Hill. But I have one other area to show you called the crossings. And when it comes to having a more mall-like experience, that's where you're gonna wanna go. So let's go check it out. Okay, so now we're here in what's called the crossings. The crossings is also on Main Street, which is back here behind us. And this right here in Spring Hill is the closest thing that you're going to get to a shopping experience like a mall. If you wanted to go an act, to an actual mall, you'd have to go north to the Franklin area, Cool Springs, to what's called the Galleria. But for lack of that, this is the place to be here in Spring Hill, the crossing. So of course, one of the major spots here, and really this is the anchor tenant, they call it, is Super Target. So it's not just a regular Target, this is a big one. This is gonna have, if you're not gonna go to Walmart in the central hub of town, you're coming to Target. It's gonna have everything you need here. Other major stores in the area, we have an Ulta Beauty over here. We've got a Ross. We've got an Electronics Express, okay? And a lot of different restaurants in the area. In fact, right here behind me is a restaurant called Foolin's. And if I wasn't going to Daylight Donuts for sushi, here's where I'd come. In fact, I told you earlier that Lin's is one of the favorite uh, Chinese places in town. Um, that's kind of like by vote. Well, my personal vote would go here to Fu uh, Fulin's. I absolutely love it here. Another one of my favorite stores right behind me is I'm, I'm partial. I'm still 40 years old. I'm still a gamer. We do have a GameStop here in town. And of course, no town would be complete without a theater. Way down here, and I'll put it on camera here for you, we have an AMC theater and they have plenty of screens, they're always featuring any movies. It's a great theater. Me and my family always go there. We don't have ever feel the need to go up to Franklin or anywhere else. AMC Theater always has everything we need here. When it comes to trying to get that true shopping experience, besides the Walmart area, really this is the place to, uh, to come is crossings here in Spring Hill. All right, so there's one more thing I wanna show to you. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're back here at my home. I have a special guest I want to introduce you to. This is my daughter, Ella. And uh, we just wanted to thank you so much for joining us on this tour of Spring Hill. And if you're interested in checking out more of the area, you can check out this video where I talk about Thompson Station. And in the meantime, we certainly hope to. Can I see you soon? Bye-bye. <laughs>